Hey guys, um, this is a little video rant, which I have not done for a while now. Um, if you see color on my face, I just dyed my hair yesterday and I've got like blue shit all over my skin because I suck big balls, just so you know. This is a new color I'm trying out from a brand called Adore. Um, it's the only like light bright shade of blue they have and it's like an aquamarine and then this is the normal stuff that I use which is um, Vixen War Paint which is my favorite favorite shade of blue but I wanted something a little different a little brighter so I just did like a half and half but I'm completely blue even though it looks like it's dark at the bottom there is no more black in my hair it's just all been bleached and um, first day never looks that great it's just kind of you know so it just kind of looks really shitty right now but I'm just checking out the color I kind of like it but I kind of am still partial to this one anyway um talking about hair because that is the topic for my video today is hair elitist slash asshole um hairstylist I guess um the new thing that I'm seeing on Facebook a lot is people saying, you know, don't get box stuff, don't get supermarket stuff. Oh, if you get this and this and that and you fuck up your hair, I'm not going to fix it for you. Oh, I didn't go to, you know, hairdressing school and rack up student loans and spend such and such hours studying just to fix your mistakes if you're going to go and use box things from the shelf. And it's like, what the fuck? Uh, yeah, you did. That's like saying, a, you know, like a doctor saying, I didn't go to medical school and rack up all these loans and yada, yada, yada to save your life. It's like, yeah, you fucking did. Um, you go to beauty school or hairdressing school or whatever it's called um, to learn these things. You do cuts, you do color, you do style. If somebody fucks up their hair, that kind of keeps you in business. Is that just me or what? To me, if somebody fucks up their hair and they go to you, it gives you money and it lets you do what you went to school for. And not everybody knows that the supermarket shit's not good. I know that it's news to me, but you know, obviously I'm ignorant with a lot of things, but I swear by supermarket shit. I have a hairstylist here. She's the one who originally cut my hair short. I went to somebody else to get this cut. Um, because that shit got kind of, I don't know, like she quit talking to me after I dyed my own hair and bleached my own hair. But i had been going to her and like I said in other videos, I spent, God, three, four, five hundred dollars um, a couple of times getting my hair bleached. And it was never all the way bleached. All the ends were still dark. And the first time we did, we hit it four times in one go and only about that much of it bleached. It was shit. And I'd wanted the whole thing. I was like, I want all my hair blue. And she's like, that's not going to happen. It's going to cost thousands upon thousands upon thousands of dollars to do it. And all she managed to do was take a very little top layer and bleach that and then drop it down. And it was just like, what? Like, I don't want this thin layer on top of my hair that kind of bleached. And I had to pay you almost $500 um, by the end of it. No. And then somebody sent me. A box of um, whatever the fuck it is that I, I got. Uh, oh my god, I just used it and I don't remember. The Nordic Blonde. Sent me a box of Nordic Blonde and I had like zero expectations for it and it like bleached all my hair. And I was like, holy fuck, this worked. And so I couldn't get that level here, but there are lower levels and it still did the same thing. And that is how I've managed to have my hair dyed. Now, it cost me, it used to cost me $11, $12. But they raised the price to almost $14. Now it costs me $14 a box to get this. And I go to uh, uh, fucking the only place in the city, which is a salon shop. One salon shop where you can get colored hair dye um, that's not like the temporary washout shit. And so I got that and I did that and... I'm I'm fine. I went a little overboard when I first started bleaching my hair and I bleached and bleached and bleached two, three, four times on, in the same day and I fried my hair and my hair broke off. That was my own fault. Had to go somewhere and get my hair chopped, you know, whatever. 
you live, you learn. I wasn't too fussed about it. Um, but since then, like, I've been able to maintain color, and I've wanted color for so long, and I did it. I did it by getting supermarket shit, you know, boxed stuff off the shelves as opposed to going in and spending heaps of fucking money. And if I had fucked up and I had to go to a hairdresser or even that chick and get it done, it's not like she's going to say, oh, fuck, you want me to do a job for you and you're going to pay me for it? Fuck my life. You know what I mean? Who the fuck are these bitches on fucking Facebook who think that they own the world and they're like, well, if you fuck up your hair, then don't come running to me. I'm not here to fix your mistakes. Like, you're fucking stupid is what you are. Like, you are just absolutely in la-la fucking land if you think you're going to hairdressing school not to help people with their hair. If they make a mistake, oh fucking well. Not everybody went to school like you obviously did. Not everybody knows. And you know what? Maybe not everybody cares. If it works, it works. You don't know until you try. The shit's being sold for a reason who fucking really cares maybe not everybody's all like like you guys are um you know about oh i don't want chemicals in my hair who knows what they put in stuff blah 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 like i don't i don't really care um yeah so like like i really don't care what i put in my hair maybe that's just me but these yeah these people are just like you don't know what's in them. You don't know. It just box stuff. Don't do it. I get if they're like, oh, um, you know, please be careful. The stuff that's out there, you don't know what's in it. Um, I don't want you to ruin your hair. Like they're doing it because they act like, you know, they're saying that they care about their customers or they care what people are doing. But when they have the attitude of, oh my God, you're so fucking stupid lol 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 if you're getting this shit for your hair and you fuck up your hair don't come running to me because that's not what i went to school for you fucking moron that attitude you can just stick that attitude right up your fucking ass because that's the wrong attitude to have if you're in that kind of business you're in that kind of business to help and to help people with their hair and if you can't handle or understand that sometimes people want to do what they want to do or they don't know any better then you really shouldn't be in that business and um it's just really been pissing me off lately and i just wanted to say that quickly probably one of my shortest rants but then i got interrupted so um yeah i guess that's about it i don't know do you guys agree do you not agree do you think i'm fucking stupid if you do i don't want to hear about it <laughs> but anyway i'll see you guys next time